Welcome to Eat the Scroll podcast. I am excited today and I pray that you are excited too. It is always very special to me to have another day to engage with the Father. He is the all-knowing God, the all-powerful God, the all-seeing God. If I want to know anything about my hours and my minutes and my seconds ahead, the same with you, wouldn't it seem to be wise as a child of God to inquire and seek Him and stay attentive to the Holy Spirit throughout the day? to hear those little nudges and those nuances that lead and guide us in the way of the Father. What a great opportunity it is for us, most definitely, to go go before Him daily and say, Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, hallelujah, and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors, letting go of both the wrong and the resentment. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Don't you just feel that? That's a wonderful model prayer that Jesus gave those of his disciples, which are every follower in the past and in the future of what it is that we should pray before the heavens and before the throne of God. Before we get started in today's scripture, I first want to begin Uh, to make a scriptural correction for day 15's episode of our 21 days of fasting and prayer. I mistakenly said Matthew 14 and 36 instead of Mark 14 and 36, which says, I want to repeat, this is for day 15, and it says he was saying, talking about Jesus, Abba Father, All things are possible for you. Take this cup of judgment away from me. This is Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. And he was in his humanity going through heavy travail, heavy pressure on what was on him, what what was before him that he had to face taking on the sins of the world. But even through that, he surrendered and said, but not what I will, but what you will. Some translation says, nevertheless, let me get out of the way, God. I surrender to your will for my life. I hope that each and every one of us are in that posture to move forward and deeper and relent more as we go forward in our surrender to the Father according to His will, not our will. So let's, let's, let's get started on day 16, day 16 of our 21 days of fasting in prayer. The scripture that I want to open up in today's uh, episode is coming from Hebrews chapter 4. Hebrews chapter 4. This is Eat the Scroll podcast. So keep that in mind in reference to why we do this and take opportunities to bring the word uh, to you, um, if not on a daily basis, on a more frequent basis than we have been. So Hebrews 4 uh, verses 12 through 16 amplified says, for the word of God is living and active and full of power, making it operative, energizing and effective. It is sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating as far as the division of the soul and spirit the completeness of a person, and of both joints and marrow, the deepest parts of our nature, exposing and judging the very thoughts 
and intentions of the heart. And not a creature exists that is concealed from his sight. Hallelujah. But all things are open and exposed and revealed to the eyes of him with whom we have to give account. It is him, God, hallelujah, that we have to give an account to. This lets us know that hiding or trying to hide things that are really in our heart, God already knows what's in our heart. He, he's letting us know, you can't hide from me. You can't conceal anything from my sight. Hallelujah. And thank God for that. It's an innate accountability that we have from the Father, our God who sits high and looks low, who is very much involved in every one of our affairs. And verse 14 tells us, in as much then as we believers have a great high priest who has already ascended and passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God. Let us hold fast to our confession of faith and cling tenaciously to our absolute trust. Come on, absolute trust in Him as Savior. It is what gives us the rest, the peace, the joy, the stillness, the immovable uh, characteristic of a believer that has uh, absolute trust in Jesus the Christ as our Savior, in the Father as our Lord, as our Father, and Holy Spirit as our guide and our teacher and the enablement, the anointing, the empowerment that empowers us, hallelujah, to finish every task. God, God gave us everything that we needed. Remember, as I have press through this time. We are not alone. We are never alone. So if you're feeling lonely today, remember, God did not leave you as an orphan. He sent Holy Spirit, our paraclete. He's walking closely alongside of us to help us. Not only that, he is in us. He's with us and he's in us. Let me continue on in verse 15 of Hebrews 4. Verse 15 says, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize. This word sympathize, I want to just take a short sidebar right here. The word sympathize in the Greek means to have a fellow feeling with, to have compassion on. It reminds me of the scripture that talks about when Jesus saw the multitude and they were like a sheep without a shepherd. He had compassion on. He, in his humanity, him being fully human and fully divine, he was able, he is, he is able to sympathize. And as I continue in verse 15, it says, sympathize and understand our weaknesses and temptations. But one who has been tempted knowing exactly how it feels to be human in every respect as we are yet without committing any sin. Hallelujah. Verse 16, a very familiar passage that we use to invite us to invoke heaven, to invite us to go before the Lord with such confidence that he hears us. It says, therefore, let us with privilege as believers, sons and daughters of the Most High privilege. That's a privilege for us to pray. It's a privilege for us to be able to go before the throne of God. Listen, therefore let us with privilege approach the throne of grace. That is the throne of God's gracious favor with confidence and without fear so that we may receive mercy for our failures with Lamentations 3 tell, tells us that mercies, his mercies are made new every morning, afresh for us where we have failed, where we have fallen short, where we have missed the mark. And it says, 
so that we may receive mercy for our failures and find His amazing grace to help us in time of need and appropriate blessing coming just at the right moment. Isn't that a wonderful invitation for us to enter in with prayer today? Knowing that we can receive His mercy, we can find His amazing grace and a, and, and, and a portion to help us, the help from the Most High God, hallelujah, that's appropriate to our need and it's right on time. So let's pray. Father God, time does not restrain you at all. Time cannot contain you at all. That you are self, the self-existent one. You are the beginning, the alpha. So there is no beginning to you. No one created you. You are Elohim, our creator and our maker. You are the first and the last. You are the beginning and the end. That means you are our beginning and you are our end. So Father God, we thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, that we wouldn't be left alone. We wouldn't be left without help. We wouldn't be left without an advocate even right now today as he is seated at your right hand because you have exalted him. Hallelujah. And he is our high priest. He is forever interceding for us, having sympathy of what we're going through because he walked the earth being fully human and fully divine. He died, he, he rose from the dead so that we can benefit from him the be, being the first of many brethren, that if he rose, we will rise again and be with him. We just thank you, Father, that your word always strengthen us because it is powerful, it's operative, it's energizing, it is effective. It is given unto us if we take of it, knowing that it is removing and separating what is not of you from what is of you. It reveals to us, it opens us to what is still in our lives that need to be evicted or destroyed or for us to be delivered from. It exposes everything that we may think that we are hiding before you. But man sees the outside, but you know our heart, Father. As we continue to go forward, let us go before you with an open heart, not trying to hide, but coming before our Father and us knowing within us that you already know. You already know what is on our hearts, what's in our minds, even what we're going to say before we say it. Father God, right here, we rededicate ourselves to you in word, thought, and deed. We, we give it all to you. We offer ourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable in your sight. Our full faculties, leaving nothing on the table, withholding nothing. So into us see that kind of intimacy that comes with the agreement with you. Hallelujah. And your agenda for us in the day. Our desire is to see exactly and experience exactly what you have already planned for us, where you've already portioned for us as we enter this day in releasing the model prayer, hallelujah, unto us. Give us this day our daily bread that you have, and you're not finished imparting your daily bread, your living word, in our hearts, in our spirits, in our minds. Continue to guide us through. Continue to edify us and lift us up. Continue to protect us and cover us, not just us, our families and our affairs. Open up those doors. Keep them open. Keep, allow us to be aware of the open doors. Allow us to be aware of the new that you are doing, not just in our lives, but in the earth. 
from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Everything that you are allowing is connected to your ultimate plan for humanity. Jeremiah 29 and 11 in me prayer paraphrasing that you know the thoughts and the plans you have for us not to harm us but bring bring peace and prosperity to us that we have a hope and a future and it's only in through your son in you through your son Jesus Christ so father we relinquish our will Hallelujah. And we say, let thine will be done. Let thine will be done in our lives as it is in heaven while we are on earth. We need you. Oh, yes, we love you, Lord. Have your way. Have your way in it through every one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Have an awesome rest of the day until we meet again. Goodbye.